Okay, hello, welcome back to the kitchen. Today's kitchen coaching session um, was inspired by poor old walking wickets or Cameron uh, with his bust thumb. Uh, how anyone can get the top of your left hand thumb hit um, it beggars belief in some respects, but also shows uh, that there's an opportunity here to learn a bit about back foot technique. So in simple, in simple terms, we have to make sure, as I said in the previous video, that our grip is right. If our grip is right, you can play off the back foot better. If your grip is wrong, you will get yourself into horrible positions. So first thing, we think about our stance, whether you're more upright or more down in position, but the ball is short. Our first movement, because our weight is slightly forward, our first movement is back. If it's coming at us, it might be back and down or it might be back and across to get in this position here so that we know we can defend easily up on the balls of our feet. And you can see how, because I've got a nice grip, it's easy for me to lift my elbow high and ride the bounce of the ball. My bottom hand isn't strangling the back, so I can almost let go with the bottom hand and I can still see the ball. That's the key thing here. Nice high position, high hands, Gently. If you're strangling the bat with your bottom hand and holding it wrong, you just can't, you end up in this position and it's not actually possible but you, you're just going to get hit. The other thing that we have to see is make sure that we're not, if we're too open chested on and we go into this position with our feet facing forwards, we can't, we're a very big target for the ball to hit. So if we look, make sure our back foot stays pointing towards point. Back foot whether it's here, whether it's back straight here. Back foot stays straight in towards point so that we stay side on. Get a nice position here, ball to the feet, ride the ball, hands high, straight bat, ball hits and drops. Which is fine. In terms of practice for this, what you need is a nice friend and some tennis balls. You get your gloves, get your lid on, and literally have your dear friend throw underarm balls at your head so that you can practice either blocking or swaying that way, or swaying this way. Which is again, is why if you're open chested, you can't sway out of the way, you're still a target. So you're side on, small target, side, drop down, sway backwards, and get in a nice position to block the ball. And again, the key is, before we start playing the hook and the pull, can we defend it nicely? Obviously, modern cricketers, I'm certainly when I'm teaching my son, I'm just telling him to smash it. So maybe I'm going about it now, but if you're a regular cricketer who's been playing for a while, I would emphasise, spend some time learning to play the short ball, have someone throw some tennis balls at your head, get used to it, and it'll come quite quickly. So in recap, the key points are, make sure you, you hold the back right, make sure your feet stay side on, so that you can move your foot side on, you can stay side on, you can choose to duck, let it go over your shoulder, lean back, let it go through your chest, or get in position, hands high, soft hands, let the ball hit the bat and drop. Oh yes, and you do need to watch the ball. I hope that's helpful.